Look closely at this water, not so much at the color, but the texture, those ridges, that stuff floating on top is oil. Oil so thick you can reach down and pick it up with your hand. It's oil from the deep water horizon, the offshore rig that exploded, sending massive amounts of oil into the Gulf of Mexico, oil now threatening the coastline. The response is building. Boats with skimmers are trying to corral the oil, but winds and waves could push contaminated water deep into ponds, lakes, and inlets, coating wildlife. Government officials are worried. The booms as currently deployed are not effective. The areas will be impacted first by this oil spill, therefore are critical and fragile coastal sites. These next few days are critical. That's why we must do everything necessary, everything possible to protect our coast. In Venice, Louisiana, hundreds of fishermen showed up at a training session, volunteering their time and their boats to the effort. Right now we're just trying to protect our coast. William Bruner was just one of the men hoping to help. I asked him to describe his concern on a scale from 1 to 10. Right now, we about at 10, man. This, this seems to be worse than Katrina. For now, the White House is putting a hold on any new offshore oil projects until safeguards are in place. But this bill will likely damage the fishing industry here, hurt tourism, and kill wildlife. All of that has people here awfully anxious about how far inland this oil will come and how much there will be. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, Venice, Louisiana. The booms as currently deployed are not effective. The areas will be impacted first by this oil spill, therefore are critical and fragile coastal sites. These next few days are critical. That's why we must do everything necessary, everything possible to protect our coast. Right now we're just trying to protect our coast. Right now, we, we about at 10, man. This, this seems to be worse than Katrina. But this bill will likely damage the fishing industry here, hurt tourism, and kill wildlife. All of that has people here awfully anxious about how far inland this oil will come and how much there will be. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, Venice, Louisiana.